Hello, and I am Microflection, and in this episode, I will be showing you the tutorial on how to make the secret magical door that you can open up by opening up a chest. As you can see, it doesn't actually open up because I haven't turned this on, and I will be trying to explain this as best I can to you. So let's begin. Now first, I'd like to say I did not come up with this design. Um, someone else came up with this design. I don't exactly know how to say his channel name, but I will put it up on the screen. I believe it is like Stephen AU, and with like Stephen spelled with a 3 instead of an E. Um, so he was, I think he was the original person who made this, so I'm just making, making a tutorial on it, so I'm not like stealing his idea. So it is his. Um, so let me show you some different parts in this. This glass part is just there so you can see all the, all of the redstone and pistons that are used to open this door. A picture that this is the outside of the house. And when you open up the chest, this will open up and then you'll be able to go in, and then this will be the inside of the house. Obviously, if I had full blocks that you can't see through, it would be very difficult to understand what's going on. Now let's get to the yellow part. As you can see here, this redstone torch is on, which will then turn this redstone on right here, which will then power these pistons, which are pushing out. So therefore, when this torch turns off, these pistons will retract, which will then retract these sandstone blocks, which you can then enter. So now we need, need to try to figure out how to actually get this torch to turn off when you open up this chest. And I'll explain that in this orange section. This orange section is broken up into two different parts. This wooden pressure plate and this boat. And what this boat does is it will go up and down when you pull that lever. So I'll get to that in a moment. But when this boat comes down, it will then push, on, push the pressure plate down, which will then turn this redstone on which will then turn this redstone torch off, which will then open up the door. So then what you're still trying to figure out is how to open up this chest, by, I mean by opening up the chest, the um, this uh, boat will then push that down. So you're, you're gonna have to try, to, and I'm gonna be explaining to you how you um, will be able to do that. Now let's get to the blue section. Now this blue section, all it really is, is just a, a redstone clock, I believe, which when you activate it, all of it will turn off, turning on and off, which will then like pull and push that uh, piston. When you turn it off, it stays like that. But as you can see here, when you turn this on, I believe what that does is it then will turn um, this torch on, which I mean, yeah, and then that will turn off, which will then that will turn off, and then this um, will then turn on, and then when that turns on, this will turn off, and when this turns off, um, that will turn off, but then when that turns off, I believe it goes back over to here, and it's, it's like a full circle, it just keeps going around, and it keeps repeating. But the problem you're going to have is that, um, when you want to open up the chest, you, you're going to want to try to figure out how opening up the chest will then get this, um, will then get this boat to touch the pressure plate, and I'll explain that in a second. Stairs are very strange in Minecraft. They are not a normal block. A normal block would be something such as cobblestone, or stone, or any of these blocks along here. Those are all normal blocks. These are all half slab blocks, as you can tell. But, and, but they are just half the size of a normal block, which are, which are pretty consistent. They're always half. But stairs are very strange. When you place them like that, that is a normal like, hitbox for a stair. As you can see, when I step on here, I'm only on half a block, and then I can go up another block. But that is what no normally stairs are like. But this stair is upside down, and you can place them upside down by rolling up like this, and then placing underneath, and getting rid of the rest of the blocks. See, see there? But when I have a brick stair in my hand, or in my, or when I open up my inventory, and if it's in my inventory, all of the block, all of these brick stairs in the world will then turn, will then sort of, um, it's hard to describe, but they will all sort of turn to that sort of. A hitbox, even though they're actually upside down. So then, when this is activated, as you see here, the um, the boat. Oh, this is really good. One second. Okay, sorry, but that that was really loud. Um, but as you can see here, I have my brick stair in my hand, and that is actually pushing the boat down, which is touching the pressure plate. When I take this out of my hand. Now the brick stair now goes back to like a full block, which will then push the stair up, I mean the boat up, which will then 
not allow it to touch the pressure plate. So then if you look here, if you look here, if I open this up, I am interacting with these big stairs, which will then open up the door. And let me try to show you a sort of a multi-view of uh, each of these contraptions so you can try to build it for yourself. As you can see here, it's kind of flickering on and off. It, it's a really rather simple design after you get the hang of it. It's just the whole understanding how the stairs work is mostly the tricky part. After you get that down, then you can easily do it. So that is basically it for now. And one, one last thing, when I made this in the other video, this was far enough underground that you didn't you weren't hearing the piston, so that's kind of kind of trickery in that. But obviously you heard the piston. You you would obviously hear these pistons retracting this because you obviously know like okay there'd be pistons that would have to retract this, so you just expect that. But you wouldn't expect any pistons to be underground that would be pushing up a stair with a boat. That'd be sort of strange. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.